Savage Life family, it seems we are one month away from Ethereum Classic's Fifany event to come through. Now, this is taking place during Bitcoin's having events, so this is going to have some sort of supply bullish effect towards Ethereum Classic, a uh, supply shock in the mid term. So, I believe we are going to rise during or shortly after this Fifany event, uh, event due to some data that I have taking a look at so we are going to dive right in so just as bitcoin has the having event every four years ethereum classic has the fifteen event every two years for those of you who didn't know and also like bitcoin it is an important event in the history of ethereum classic each time there is a fifteen, it brings the issuance rate lower and the lower issuance rate means harder money so the inflation rate of ethereum classic is currently at 4.26 after the next 50 it will go down to 3.41 in terms of inflation rate this is good news for etc investors and savers so for those of the individual who are mining it would go from 2.56 that could currently be mined per block to 2.0 ethereum classic so that is huge now, if we take a look at some data as to when it took place, the most previous having event took place in 2022, 2020, and 2017. Now, if we take a look at the bull run that took place in 2017 as a prime example, what ended up happening for Ethereum Classic when that having took place? We saw a rise for Ethereum Classic here on that date where it rose 90% in just 15 days after that having. Now, I believe it could be either shorter or a bit longer. Ethereum Classic lately has been lagging behind. So after this 15 takes place, I believe it'll take about two to three months for it to truly see that growth and raise probably 100 to 200 percent. So that would put it already in the 50 to 75 dollar price points in the midterm. And not to mention what ends up happening if all of these ETFs start piling up money so i say that's because there is some news at the end of the video that you do want to stick around with so taking a look at this other data here now when ethereum classic had that 50 that took place around march 20th we did see a short-term rise here from three dollars to seven dollars now that took place in a span of 43 days and it wasn't just a direct ride up it was a roller coaster of a ride a steady climb as it rose to those levels so that right there is proof in the pudding that every time ethereum classic has its fifteen over the span of one to two months it rises a hundred percent slowly but surely so there is possibilities to make some gains now in the short term as i mentioned the fifty is in 35 days there is a negative sign, three negative candlesticks here, negative cup and handle formation that has formed for Ethereum Classic, expectations for it to drop down to the $24 price point levels. Now, we haven't seen these $25 levels for an incredibly long time, and since we broke underneath that support, is indicating that a short-term sell-off is coming soon. So this is ultimately a buying opportunity here for Ethereum Classic as we drop a leaf down to $24. I know we saw it recently at the $38, $36 price point levels. And if you do the math here, if you're buying it here and in the short term it rises back up to those levels, you're in the profits. Now I believe we're going to supersede those levels and hit three digits this year, surpassing $100 very soon. So ultimately, this is a buying opportunity for those who are investing into cryptocurrency, as well as a meme coin like Doge is a prime example that's getting the backing support of a huge innovator like Elon Musk. So GDP numbers ended up coming out and the US GDP growth for the first quarter was disappointing, coming in at 1.6% annually compared to the expected 2.2%. Now factors like decreased consumer spending, exports and government outlays contributed to the slowdown and analysts are concerned about the combination of slower growth and higher inflation which could impact the federal reserve's decision so this wasn't here just the u.s that took place other countries are seeing this negative report now with the u.s primarily if the gdp is coming in negative at a slower growth people are expecting jerome powell to cut rates and that is going to rise the 
markets ultimately but if the gdp is coming back negative inflation is not slowing down it's actually slightly rising then that in fact is going to incentivize your own pile to either rise rates or keep rates the same which is going to have a short-term negative impact on the market so we have canada's gdp here grew by 0.2 in february which was below expectations and is estimated to have expanded at 2.5 percent annual rate in quarter one of 2024 january's growth was revised down to 0.5 percent so this again is going to be affecting canada's interest rates and despite the growth their speculation about a rate cut in june or july so the canadian dollar weaken after the gdp data release if the canadian dollar is weakening that means people are actually starting to feel the effects of inflation groceries are going to become much more expensive restaurants much more expensive things of that nature now we also have european markets here now they were down by 0.3 percent notably autos dropped by 3.34 percent eurozone inflation remained steady at 2.4 percent in april so it wasn't a decrease in inflation it remained stagnant not bullish news in the short term because they're not really combating inflation is still at on the rise at the end of the day so it seems across the entire world we're seeing this issue with inflation we're seeing people being squeezed out of their dollars because the dollar is not worth as much as it used to be and that is having an effect on the markets of course so we're seeing bitcoin in the short term rising we've seen some selling indicators here lots of selling pressure for bitcoin ultimately these shorts are going to end up getting caught by surprise very soon as we enter the month in may which is historically a very bullish month and what's going to happen is these shorts are going to be betting that bitcoin remains under 59 58 dollar price points and out of nowhere we're going to squeeze out of their positions as they're forced to buy into the market and propel bitcoin up against those seventy thousand dollar price point levels once again we're still in may we still have until october november december till we see those historic rises so at the very least this does give us plenty of time to accumulate some cryptos before those gains are made in that short term as i like to say so ultimately cryptocurrency markets are down after the u.s economy grew slower than expected uh, Federal Reserve may not quickly lower those interest rates and it's impact a lot of positions. So the market slump led to over $209 million in liquidated long positions with Bitcoin longs accounting for over $52 million. And we have hit a record here for BlackRock as Bitcoin ETF inflow stopped after 71 days. For it to rise and grow for 71 days straight is absolutely insane. So, of course, it had to pull back and take a rest a bit. But that's going to come back and we're going to be seeing more inflows later for BlackRock. Now, I want to end it off here with some bullish news to expect. Hong Kong is gearing up for the launch of Spot Bitcoin and Ether Extrated Fund. So, ETFs today, which is seen as significant event in the crypto community so three chinese firms are expected to introduce these etfs on the hong kong stock exchange and this move follows the earlier debut of crypto etfs in late 2022 so these etfs have companies and corporations with assets worth over 1.3 billion dollars totaling around 50 billion dollars for some which may not seem a lot as US ETFs assets are sitting around $8.9 trillion. But ultimately, this is a lot of money that's going to be flowing into the cryptocurrency market very soon. So it is bullish for us holders. If you guys enjoyed this quick little update, be sure to smash a like and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.